What is up everybody? It is Mark again and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. It is the day before opening day. I'm so freaking stoked. I've been waiting this for, for waiting for this for months. Been scouting a bunch. Um, heading down to a WMA. My buddy got a quota. And uh, there is uh, quite a few bucks hanging out in this area that we're going to be hunting. They were coming through hot and heavy for uh, about a week. Um, and they kind of like slowed down for the last week. So I don't know where they went, um, but I have a little bit of time before it gets dark today. So I'm gonna cruise around and see if I can figure out where these deer have been hanging out. See if we can't get on one tomorrow. All right guys, we just checked into the Airbnb. We're just staying like right down the road from this WMA. This is something I've started doing. I really like instead of camping in the heat of summer with all the rain, I just get an Airbnb and you can find some pretty cheap ones. Like check this thing out. We got this thing for 70 bucks a night. It's two bedrooms, two bathrooms. There's a bathroom over there. We got this little living room, plenty of space outside for multiple trucks. And then bedroom two. So pretty sweet. Um, you know, if you guys are doing some hunting in archery season, it's hot and you want to be able to take a nice shower and stuff. Look around, buy the WMAs you're hunting, and uh, you know support the local economy. If any of you guys are hunting Corbett, I happen to know of an Airbnb in my backyard. So check it out. Uh, look for the tiny house called the Naughty House. Like nautical, get your mind out of the gutter. Dude, that is a big deer. And he didn't even go 30 yards. Oh my God. <laughs> that was the first buck I've ever shot. Woo, what a rush. Money, that deer is dead. Tagged out, baby. You shot one? Yeah. Hell yeah, dude. I saw him go what? down.
this is the first day that you can hunt deer in this country. It's a pretty, pretty awesome thing. And uh, first thing in the morning, as soon as I was able to see, I had four deer out here. I had one of them, a little spike. Um, I grunted at him. He came right over. He checked out this scrape. I got a scrape like five yards from me. And he uh, hit the scrape. That was pretty cool. It's always cool seeing deer being deer when they don't know they're being watched. Anyway, there's a really big storm moving into this area, like a tropical storm, and it's um, it's probably going to put a, a lot of water on us later. But right now, it's just leading to really nice, cool breezes. So it's a pretty enjoyable morning. And, um, but anyway, it's, it's the rut. It's peak rut. In fact, it might actually be a little bit past peak rut right now. So, um, I'm going to be doing uh, a lot of grunting and uh, rattling, trying to uh, pique the interest of any bucks that are cruising around looking for does right now. And uh, just the fact that the smell of deer is already in this area now because of those deer that came through here. And um, that buck peed in this scrape. That, uh, that really works in my favor. If I start making deer noises, then uh, as deer come in, they'll smell other deer, which will uh, definitely help. There was like a, a shooter buck that came through last night at about four o'clock in the morning and hit this scrape. And, um, so, yeah, I don't know. Maybe he'll come back looking, looking for the hot dough, because I put some, some Esther's dopey in that scrape. So, we'll see what happens. But right now, just enjoying the shade that I have for as long as I have it. So, for those of you that are new to deer hunting, one thing that's really important to know about deer is that they, um, they don't have great eyesight, but they have an incredible nose, and their hearing's pretty good too. But their nose is incredible. In fact, it's it's better than a dog's. So, um, if you can avoid being smelled, then usually you're in pretty good shape. So what I've been doing is like constantly, constantly checking my wind. I have this little pouch of milkweed. This, these are little milkweed fluffs. And um, I just let it go. And I can watch to see what the wind is doing, to see where it's taking, like where it's taking my smell. That way, if a deer's coming in, I know sort of like where it's gonna smell me. So I know if I have to take a shot like faster, or if I have time to wait for a better shot, just gonna keep doing that as the day progresses because the wind's gonna be shifting because of this storm. So hopefully get a little bit more action here in a little bit. What's up everybody? I just want to make a really quick announcement. If you've been watching the channel for a while, you already know about this. But uh this camo that I'm currently wearing and that I'm wearing during this hunt is called the high pine camo and swamp and stomp made the original version of this but we've been working really closely with florida camo which is a as the name suggests a florida based camo company that makes some really amazing high quality clothes so we're really excited to be pairing up with them to get a new version of the high pine camo done on their clothes which is just super awesome their clothes i'll be honest are more comfortable than our older ones were even though those were pretty comfortable, this is just next level. So uh, there's a pre-sale going on right now for the next few days. So if you wanna get in on that pre-sale, it's gonna be uh, discounted for, I don't know exactly how much, but it's gonna be discounted. Um, so go to flcamo.com and uh, buy yourself some of this high pine camo on pre-sale before it's too late.
Alright, so it's um it's ten o'clock right now. And uh, I didn't realize until about right eight thirty that somebody came in and set up on this tree about seventy yards from me. But it's been pretty breezy so I didn't hear him climbing. I don't know when he got there. possible that he was there before me I, I have no idea but um anyway he's there but he's finally climbing down most people get down about 10 o'clock and, and I always make it the point a point to stay in the tree at least an hour longer than everybody else because a lot of times when people get down start moving they kind of kick the deer around they probably don't even know they do but the deer react to that movement of people walking out and they start moving again so <clears throat> especially in these early these early season weekends it can be pretty good hunting like midday and it's gonna rain later so I'm kind of just trying to get as many hours in the tree stand as I can before it gets nasty Heading back to my stand for the afternoon, and there's freaking two does standing at the scrape as I come pulling up. And I don't know how I'm gonna get past them without them blowing out here. But I kind of feel like I might just have to blow them out and get in my stand as quickly as possible, just in case there's some bucks falling behind them. So they're about to just walk to my downwind side. 